Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. It's Lauren here today and I want to show you how to do this twisted fringe. I discovered this quite recently and I just think it's really cool to add on to something like a scarf or a blanket. It's just a fun variation on the traditional fringe. So let's jump straight into it. Okay, so I've done quite a few twists already and I'm going to show you on this next one exactly what I've been doing. What I'm going to do is this first stitch here that I've just done, this is a slip stitch. What I'm going to do is pull up this loop really long and I've been making mine about 20 centimeters and the pieces of fringe end up being about seven centimeters. So it's pretty much three times what you want your fringe to be. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my hook and I'm going to put my finger into that loop. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to twist it like this. Now the number of twists is going to be dependent on the size of the loop that you've made. So for my 20 centimeter loop, I've been doing 30 twists. If you've got a smaller loop, you're going to want to do less twists. If you've got a larger loop, you're going to want to do more twists. It's going to be a little bit of trial and error, but I'm going to go ahead and do my 20, uh, 30 twists. And I'm going to show you the next step after that. So I've finished my 30 twists. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this off my finger and reinsert my hook. And in this next stitch here, I'm going to do a slip stitch. Now, what you'll find is that twist that you've just made has kind of coiled up a bit crazy. But what you're going to want to do is pull it apart so that you've got a loop like that. And you'll feel that it kind of wants to twist on itself and just gently let it twist. Do a few twists and then it should just sort itself out nice and neat like that. So I'll show you one more time. From this slip stitch that we've just done, we're going to pull up a loop. Remove the hook, twist 30 times, remove the loop from your finger, reinsert your hook and slip stitch into the next stitch. And then just tidy up the twist. OK, so I'm all done with my fringe and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I think it actually looks really good with this stitch here. This is the block stitch. I'd actually really love to make a scarf with this stitch and the twisted fringe on the end. And if you'd like to learn how to make this block stitch, I actually have a tutorial for it, which I will link right here. So be sure to check that out. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one.